tonight, we are returning to the only location that has ever made us quit, where an evil entity devoured my physical health. This time, we're here with reinforcements and first-time paranormal investigators. Yet again, this castle showed us how truly powerful and terrifying it is. I want to be thrown. I want to see some no. stuff. Do we have to worry about the guy in the corner? Good luck. You can kill my sister. If you're still here, can you make one of our devices go off again? Is there anyone in this room that remember the last time? Jesus Christ. No power. Anna, are you here still? In your head. Do we never caught anything like that's like so Is anybody down here? Oh. Come here. Bro, this is a horrendous idea. I challenge you. I'm scared! Wait, wait, wait. You want to hear a cocky? I didn't want to say it. And then he said it. Shut up. Just listen for you're gonna die. I know, I know. I wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Overnight Channel. This is actually a special episode. Mm -hmm. It was never part of our 30 day road trip. We were here about six months ago. Yeah. And in fact, it's the only location I had to quit during an investigation. Because you almost died. This is the only one to ever completely obliterate me. I yeah. don't remember the 24 hours after I left this place. I don't remember anything. I remember doing the tour, and I remember the chocolate. Wow. And I remember falling asleep by that tree. Oh. And then somehow waking up in a different city in the motorhome. So, <laughs> wait, who drove the next day? Evan. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. okay that's good. That's good. So, that's why Patty's here. Yes. Which is great. It is good. We haven't had you no, join us for a little while. No, not for a while. And I'll keep everybody alive. I you, promise. Good. You have a lot of people to keep alive. I do. I'm so excited. So, Corey. Yes. Are you ready? So, without further ado, our guest for tonight is the one and only Megan Trainer yeah. and Hi. and friends yeah. Yeah. Ryan, yeah. Daryl, Justin, Matt, and, and and are we calling you Pepe? Pepe. Pepe. Or, okay, just Pepe, not Chris. Yeah. Pepe. <laughs> okay, just Pepe. You have Hi. done a podcast together. We have yes. done a podcast, and I promised I would keep her alive, and that no one would go home with ghosts. And that that's we it. Would that's see it. a ghost. Oh, yes, the only that she'd see a ghost. They'd all see a ghost. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Are, are you excited? Are you? What are you feeling? What's happening here? My heart's pounding, and I'm so excited. I'm just like so ready. I love haunted things. I love scary movies. This this gets me going. I hope I see something real spooky dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, on our way here, you're like, I want to be bitten. I want to be want... bitten. I want to be thrown. I want to see some no, stuff. No, no. I will say I started to feel a little nauseous on the way here, just like kind of thinking about it again. But to me, this is, I almost have like a vendetta here tonight. Yeah. You know, and I, and We're going to conquer it. Yeah. 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 Like, I feel like I, I got a... You got Patty. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's I wasn't right. scared, and now that we're here, I edge. am a little scared, which is why I brought one of these. <laughs> Just in case yeah. I get lost. We know where Daryl is. We know where Daryl is. you hear this, <laughs> right? We literally got this it's on me. Episode. Come help. I need help. Ready to oh. be sacrificed. <laughs> wow. Well, oh my whoa, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So Patty's here to keep you safe. Mm -hmm. I'm here to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. uh, Corey's here to just kind of be right in the middle. Yeah. You know. Right. And then yeah, we have plenty enough tools for everyone. Uh, we're gonna send you solo at some point. Sure. Right. So yeah. you, you got you got to earn that hat. Oh I feel like we should take away the hat, and then when you're done going solo, right. you can put it in. My hair doesn't look good on the Okay. <laughs> If let's you go. want, <laughs> let's get a little protection spray. No, I want to be taken. Oh, oh my God! This one. This one. Give you a high five. This one. Oh my God! Promise? Dude, this is so <laughs> like, okay. He's like, I don't want any this of that. Amazing. Okay, Dude, I've never seen this. Yeah. But yeah. it won't keep you from seeing ghosts. Okay. It actually opens your eyes a little bit. It opens my eyes. Yeah. There are 
are approximately, according to experts that we've consulted, are approximately 400,000 bats <laughs> living in the upper floors of the castle. Some of them will be down with us tonight. <laughs> uh, Why are you looking at me, bro? They, they will fly by. I have never, ever, I've been here for 12 years at night, etc. They have never, ever, in my experience, crashed into anybody. Yeah. If you are new to dealing with bats, you will swear they are about to crash into you. They will avoid you. Yeah. As far yeah. as them landing in your hair, none has ever landed in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have. All right. Order, reform, rehabilitation, discipline. These were the words that stood for Preston School of Industry, now known as... Preston Castle. Located in Northern California, from the outside, Preston Castle was commended for its values and drive. It was one of the best known reform schools, but from the inside of its halls were stories of abuse, malpractice, and horrors. Over time, this place of hope became filled with stories of torment, suffering, and death. There is even a graveyard on the property dedicated to the boys that have died here. Not only the youth, but the staff were also in constant danger of attack, escape, and in some cases, ruthless murder. From visual manifestations, shadow figures, disembodied voices, and people getting brutally scratched, there is no shortage of paranormal evidence. But before the investigation begins, we must look at the history of Preston Castle. In the 1890s in the United States marked the start of the Youth Corrections Reform Movement to move youth from adult prisons to their own reformatory to learn skills in an effort to rehabilitate them. It was believed that through trade skills, these troubled youths could develop and be integrated back into society upon release. Through this increased need for reformatories, Preston Castle was built between the years of 1890 to 1894. It was massive in size with a total of 50,000 square feet, including a basement, four floors, and 77 rooms. The ages of the boys varied from 12 to 24, depending on need for space and the period of operation. The boys sent to this location either committed atrocious crimes or in some cases were simply abandoned by their parents. At its peak, Preston Castle was 1,000 acres, held 800 wards, 200 employees, and about 50 buildings, essentially causing the boys to live in their own bubble, one that they wished would burst. Although intentions appeared to be for the well-being of the boys, it quickly became an overcrowded place and stories of abuse became rampant. Within reports from Preston Castle, the superintendent would emphasize the need for more discipline and custody. They announced that each individual would be treated very differently depending on behavior and segregation was very common if not encouraged. There were many rumors of poor living conditions and malpractice from the staff, where punishments range from isolation, starvation, to public paddling and lashings. Additionally, when boys were first checked into the building, they were shaved, stripped, and plunged into a pool of harsh chemicals. They were forced to walk with a pole submerged under the chemicals to get rid of any pests, especially lice, on their heads. This was only the beginning of the harsh approach and treatment they received at Preston Castle. It appears that much of the malpractice began at the highest rank with the first superintendent. After several of the employees were fired, they openly accused him of mistreatment. Yet no proof was found, but it was the beginning for harsher treatment asserted by future superintendents. The second superintendent had a reputation to be ruthless as well, and was said to have methods of torture and abuse that he enjoyed employing. He unfortunately had friends in high places, so little could be done to make him step down. It was only when the media started to smear his name with stories that he did step down as well. Yet this cycle continued, time and time and time again. Nearly all through its history, Preston Castle was full of scandals and horrific stories of misconduct, not only from supervisors or officers, but all of the other staff members as well. In 1909, Dr. Randall was forced to resign due to investigations of an instance where he imprisoned one boy in an attic for 90 days. With every year, Preston Castle seemed to accumulate more stories of abuse and neglect that took place particularly in the dormitory of the building. Due to all of the horrific occurrences, it is considered to be one of the most haunted areas of the building. Many people express feelings of being unsettled when entering the dormitory. Figures are often described looking at the visitors from doorways around the various parts of the building. These horrific conditions became so extreme that in 1923, a journalist from the San Francisco Daily News went undercover as a ward to see it for himself. Through his expose, the rumors were brought to light 
as fact that the officers would administer terrible punishments. Fights would often break out among the boys, and in one of the worst cases, a riot began after a boy was stabbed during a fight. This reporter would stay there and purposefully try to be disobedient against orders, and after picking a fight himself, was sent to solitary confinement for 15 days. He wasn't the first to be sent to the cells. Evidence of scratches in the walls, names, crosses, and many other things show the psychological torment countless boys before him endured. No one was safe in Preston Castle. There was a constant battle between officers and wards. It was said that new escape attempts would be made on a weekly basis. A more official count in the first 18 years of operation are 66 boys managed to escape or attempted to and were caught. The escape attempts could result in bloody fights between officers and wards. One in particular left a guard nearly dead. On April 20th, 1904, one of the youths, Edward Rowe, attacked a night watchman in the dormitory. He, along with an accomplice, tried to escape via water pipe. The attack was so severe, the watchman almost died. Although they escaped, they were later caught and sent to Folsom Prison for adults instead. They were sentenced to 10 years for assault to commit murder. Escapees have been shot and killed during attempts to leave the property, while murder attempts were common against the guards. There are many boys and guards believed to still remain on the property due to anger they feel towards this place, resulting in many visitors feeling heavy or uneasy energy all throughout the 50,000 square foot building. Even when it came to surgery, there was very little emphasis on safe practice. Due to this, the infirmary is a hot spot for activity from the many deaths and immense energy of suffering that was prolonged there. This is in fact the place that I started to feel the worst pain of my life. And yet there is still one more brutally notable incident of the castle. In 1950, one of the most brutal deaths occurred. The head housekeeper, a favorite among the boys, was beaten to death beyond recognition in the basement. The killer was never discovered, although fingers were pointed from students to staff, yet nothing was proven. There is an abundance of paranormal activity documented in the basement that points to a dark entity residing there. From disembodied voices to phantom smells, knocks, mist, and an entity that enjoys messing with technology, there's a lot that is said to happen in this part of the building. After many deaths, rumors, and outrage from the media, Preston School of Industry closed partially in 1960, and a new facility was built nearby, with the focus turned there. Many of the buildings that made up Preston Castle were left vacant and fell into disrepair until 2001. The castle and the immediate surrounding property of 12.9 acres was deeded over to the Preston Castle Foundation by the state of California on November 7th, 2014. Over the years, Preston Castle has become renowned for its history and paranormal activity. This building holds many secrets that remain among the dead that once lived here, with many reports of strange sounds, anomalies, slamming doors, falling objects, orbs, sudden gusts of wind, phantom voices, and phantom touches. The truth of all of the horrors that occurred behind closed doors might be lost to rumors, but through investigations, more of the puzzles are put together. Whether answers will ever be found is unclear. However, it is clear that there is an evil darkness that lingers, making itself known to anyone who enters. Which way do you want to go? Well, are we supposed to meet somewhere? Yeah, we're supposed to go to the infirmary. Infirmary. Where would that be? All right. Oh, down there, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. All right. <sighs> Smells old. <laughs> New moon. Hi, I'm Megan, and um, I'm respectfully here tonight to see any of you or hang out or play and um i thank you for letting me come here tonight hi i'm <laughs> daryl and uh i'm here to explore with my family and friends respectfully and thank you for having us here in your home hi i'm matt thank you for having me and I'm here to see one of y'all. How's it going? My name is Justin. <laughs> <laughs> you just opened the wrong portal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four knocks. One too many knocks. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting into me, letting me into your beautiful home. Go ahead, Pepe. Hi, I'm Chris. You can call me Pepe as well. <laughs> I'm here to learn. I'm here to 
experience and thank you for having us. Hello, my name is Corey. Um, we're just here tonight to talk to you and learn a little bit about you. Hello, everyone here. My name is Elton. Some of you might remember me from last time. <laughs> we're still debating whether or not what happened to me last time was because of this castle. I heard it. Yeah, yeah. There was a man talking. <laughs> we're still debating whether or not what happened to me last time was because of this castle. I heard it. Yeah, yeah. Debating whether or not what happened to me last time was because of the castle or who was here or if it was just something else. <laughs> there was just like a discussion yeah. back there, bro. I swear. Yeah, right? I heard it. Would love to know who did it. <laughs> and uh, try again. No. <laughs> 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 Hey, uh, I'm Ryan. It's good to be here. Anna, pleasure's all mine. <laughs> um, just here to hang out. I am Patty, and as everyone here in respect, and we would love to experience, talk to us, move things around, work on our equipment, move them, make them ring, make them sing, make them talk. You can use me. There's very gifted people here. Some of them know it, some of them don't. So you can speak through us and love and light. First part, hardest part, everybody's good. Uncross your legs and cross and cross. Um, everybody connecting together. Just take a deep breath in. Hold it to a count of four. Two, three, four. Exhale. Hold it out. Two, three, four. Another breath in. Hold it. And exhale. Hold it out, creating safe and sacred space. I do want the East Winds to blow through this place where we get clarity and focus to communicate with the spirits on the other side. East Winds blow through here that we may connect with the spirits here. You might feel that through the head getting a little big or through this whole crown of illumination. I want to call this out the fire. Passion, creativity, love, sex, God. To burn away anything that's negative and to open, open up the communication with the spirits from the heart. Along with the west of the waters, may the mists of the ancestors rise around us. Rise around us that we may communicate through the blood. And lastly, the the earth herself, mother, the north, mother earth, keep us safe, keep us grounded, and yet let us reach all the way up into the stars in the heavens to speak to the spirits. We gather around these gentle beings, we call you now to bless our meeting, and for the living these spirits do thrive, and now for the living may the dead come alive. With the ringing of this bell, we lift the veil twixt heaven and hell to call the spirits to us now as we lift the sacred bell. We are between the worlds. Everybody, for one second, hold hands as you can. Left palm up, right palm down. Pull in energy through your left, push it out through your right, creating this perfect circle. Pull in through your left, push out through your right. One more deep breath in, and a big sigh. Ah. Okay, they have gathered around. Okay, you, you can let go of hands or hold on, however you need to do. Um, there's, oh, um, there's like little, the, the, the age that I'm seeing right now, like 11 or 12 years old, like this little group of them came on both sides. Um, yeah, they're very cute. They're very curious. They just kind of, it's like two over here and three over here. Ha ah, ah. ha. They're, okay, that's good. Um, okay, did some little boys come in this room to see us? Yes. Uh, there's one just really cute little kind of blonde boy, right, right over there. Where, where are you, cute little blonde boy? First one in. Yeah, do you feel anything behind you, like a little bit of... Like a little tickle on the neck, yeah. you know, it might just be nerves. Yeah, it might be nerves, but I think it's a cute little boy standing really close behind you. Okay. Yeah. It's much sterner. I'm feeling um, a male, grown-up male figure. I feel it in here, like a heaviness in here. He probably had um, 
he probably didn't breathe really good, but he's he, he's somebody definitely in charge, and I mean he, he's not real happy about it. <sighs> probably a heavy smoker or somebody who had dip. If anybody feels any heaviness through here, I do. Do you feel it mm -hmm. through here? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> he's he's just he's watching us. He's seeing what we're doing. So hello, hi. He's kind of in that corner over there. Are you are you hello gentlemen? Are you here? Yeah. Where are you? Are you are you in charge here? Yes. So we're just coming to talk to you and your tenants with respect. I can't tell if that was a stop or the Do you feel that? I don't I don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah and, and I'm also getting something definitely through the head. I that's one of the little boys. If anybody's getting pressure like by your temple, I think they he gets bopped on the head a lot. I don't know if in, a, in a mean way or a good way, but... Will you show Megan a ghost? <laughs> Thank you! Thank you. Okay. Um, do, you, do you know people who grab ankles here? Yeah? So is that you? No. Not sure about this guy not even feeling any female presence yet though there's got to be right can is there any women here who want to come talk to us any women cross on yes maybe thinking about it okay yeah did you just feel something over there you did I no you did that? i did Let's too it. it just it made okay a woman just came in, right? Yeah. What do you feel? She's, where, where are you? <laughs> yeah. She just came in. She she's came a, in. she's she's she looks like a, a house mom kind of thing of some sort. Large, friendly. Take care of me, mama. Face. Yeah. Care of me. <laughs> yeah. She. she what did you she feel? She likes you. Yeah. yeah. Just, just just something. A pet. Yeah. Just something. Yeah. She came in strong. Yeah. Okay. I feel good now. And. I think you're cute. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, he's single. He's single. Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> he's not nice. That goes sexy now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you take care of the boys? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do you work in the kitchen? Why are you shaking your head? It's just insane how like yeah, connected fast. she is to yeah. those like they answer so fast. So, yeah. So, yeah. You, you're you kind of like a house mom. Yeah. Where are you right now? She's, she's going further behind you. Yeah. Did you, Did you hear that? that? I didn't mm -hmm. know pupils could get that big. <laughs> yeah, right? He looks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She likes you. She likes you. Okay. To say hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You okay does any female names like come to you? Like just like the first female name you can think of? Well, they would come to me. Yeah. Yeah. Because she is kind of. And she's kind of by her whisper. I, I heard like a Diane. Diane. Mm. No. 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 We no, asked. You may not want to. You're close. You're, you're close. Are you close? Did you know Delilah? Delilah. We're gonna. Oh, look at you too. So Diane. Does, does kind of... no one? Does no one know the story of the basement? No. Mm. What? The story in the basement. No, no one knows the story in the basement. No. Like and how you literally almost said the exact name, and you just got the exact profession, and the exact description. Does no one know that at all? No. no. It's like the main story here. Like they, they try not to say it too often, but it's documented. I didn't, I didn't want to look anything up. You, you, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to be in touch. Was that you by chance, Don? No. What was the Whoa. name you Is it a cat? Yes. I just felt hair. I'm not yeah, really, the No, because like the cuts in my jeans. I literally just felt like... Getting a little bit of a head massage. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was, yeah, what wait, was wait, who's Diane? Diane? I said Diane. Right, Diane, right? Yeah. And yeah. the name downstairs is Anna. Okay. Anna, Anna Corbin. Anna Corbin was murdered here mm -hmm. by oh. by the boys and she was a housekeeper. Whoa. She was like the beloved housekeeper, like everyone loved here and then one day 
they don't know who did it. They went to court with it. They okay. figured it out. And Di Diana. And I got goosebumps. Anybody get goosebumps on that right then? Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. actually a crazy point. You said Di. Diana. Yeah. Diana. Anna Corbin was her name. It was wow. down in the basement. Damn. And wow, so good. So that's insane. Right. So so Anna. so will you show yeah. us around, Anna? Will you show us around here? Yeah. Is do we have to worry about the guy in the corner? Yeah. yeah. You no, what happened? I want to be scratched. I'm gonna be thrown across the room. <laughs> I'm down, Daddy. Come get me. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, okay. let's give this a go. It's uh, kind of annoying to listen to, but.
Are you done? I want to go down on the front of it. Literally, like. Yeah. I like so much. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. He did it. Okay. What happened? Okay. I want to go once more, but like, I was standing outside the classroom thing and I just like kept hearing things moving and sounds and I <laughs> couldn't go in. You're good, you're good, you're good. It's okay. Is the boy who talked to Corey here? No. He's not here, Corey. Is there somebody here? He's not Yeah. Do you know the boy who talked to Corey? Yeah. You want to go get him? No. Somebody go get him? No. Can I have that flashlight just in case? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Did you use this or no? Yeah, and I was also using like the screen of the camera to give me light. It desperately <laughs> needed it. Say hi, I'm Daryl. I'm on my way. Hi, I'm Daryl. On my way. <laughs> Standing at the end of that hallway right there and look all the way down for a while. I'm like really hot. You really hot? It's so sick. Is there anyone? In this room that remembers me from last time. Could you make one of the beds light up? If you're in one of them. I don't know, this is a very different vibe from whenever we were here last time. Like last time it was very... <laughs> Hi! Do you want to come talk to us? Same bed as last time? That's the bed. If you're in the hallway, you can come in here with us. If there's something or somebody that's frightening the boys, we ask you to leave. Cab off. Yes. Leave through the mirror. That's the one. Hey. Oh, it's going off for a long time. Hey, is that my... Wow. Wow. Is that my friend? Do we got the basketball star in here with us? Yeah. Here, make it stop real quick. Good. All right, make it go. Hmm, he's back. It's your boy. What, oh, dude? This is, this is the exact same spot as last time. Do you remember me? This is actually amazing. That's actually amazing. I'm gonna record at the same time. Can you give that a short beep if you're one of the boys here? Or a long beep if you're one of the doctors?
honest with us. No judgment here. If you make that cat ball go off again over by the dresser next to the mirror, we'll all play a game with you. Because I know you like playing games. So if you want to play a game with us, make that go off again. All right, dude. Let's play a game. That's pretty tight. Pretty tight. Any fun? Any luck? Anything cool? Okay. Okay. No way. Wow, good. Here, let me see the screen. Walk legs. He no. likes. Yes, let's walk. Wow. Hmm. Let's see if you heard anything. We give that a short beat if you're on the boys here. Or a long beat if you're on the doctor. Hmm. Or neither. Like laughing, but then like screaming. There's a couple screams in there. Anthony, gateway. Anthony. Anthony. Gateway. The mirrors. The, mi the mirrors. Wait. Gateway. What if the kid's name is Anthony? Anthony. Wow. And the mirror is the gateway. That's where. That's that's the area yeah. where the cat ball went off when I was talking to him last time. Hmm. Wow. His name. Is your name Anthony? Make that ball out of again on the dresser. It's much colder over here. Really? On my legs. Anthony? What is that, dude? This is my nightmare. I mean, I mean you no harm. I'm chilling. He's 11. No way. Yeah. He's an I-11. Cute. Cute boy. Anthony, are you 11 years old? Yeah. Yeah. You're like Megan. 
See the boys in this room? Short beep, yes. Long beep, no. Getting a lot of chills. I feel like I could have been a teacher, maybe. Did you guys enjoy class down here? Are there is there a teacher here? Anna? Are you comfortable with our presence here? If you don't want us to be in here, give us a beep. No, dude, no. Simon, what the f was that? What the f was that? Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. Camera picked it up. Bro, that was like a demon. Oh, they got. Yeah. Simon, what the f? Come on, Grumpy Ghost. Who's, who's, who's scaring the boys? Make another one of our devices go off if there's something outside of this room that's scaring you and is not letting you talk to us. Does it get boring down here? I would sit in here and I would just want to go outside the whole time. Hello? Is someone here with us? What the f was that? What the f <laughs> Bro, if we don't hear stuff like this, like is Did that- you go to that bully room? Is that a raccoon with rabies? <laughs> Maybe. That's gotta be my friends upstairs. Jesus Christ. Ryan? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. How was it? Spooky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's chilling. We're good. Here. Yeah. Did you hear anything on the on the recorder? No. You can settle down right here. No. Nothing. But the classroom is spooky. It's bad. Turn that flashlight back off. If you turn that flashlight off, that's how we'll know that you want to talk with us. God, the reverse thing is trippy. Are you stubborn? 
Little bully. Last time I was in here. So the bully's here. Oh, I found that bag. How did I think that was another camera? <sighs> what is it? That was another camera thing. Is the bully here? Or is anybody here? Yeah, wow, cool. Oh. Can you turn the flashlight on and off a few times? to let us know you're here. That's so cool. That's so. Dude, dude we've never caught anything that's like. That's like so. Sick. Oh wait, what if it's? I think it's. I think it's a kid calling for a doctor. And the doctor mm. was there. Just, I, I feel like that sounded like a something a bigger entity, right? Yeah. And that's like. A, Little kid being like, doctor. Yeah, like, like asking, calling, right? This kid's like, I can't really talk that much. Did you not just hear that? I thought that was you. No, that was just a banging on the window. You heard it was like a doom doom. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Did it come from the... Oh, it came from the slide. The slide? The slide. The lights? It just went boom boom. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really, nice. Yes. Wait, let me try to... It wasn't that. I don't know what was that. No, but it was definitely a window sound. Like it was that vroom vroom. I need to get this to Evan because there's been a time before where it died. It lost it. I mean, obviously we have it this way. Nothing. Guys, go right here. Tell me just. talked to a little boy named Anthony who's 11. He loved me. Evan. Shoot. No, no, way better. Way better than Stanley. What? Way better than family. Oh, that's what we were listening to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way better than family. This is so sick. So sick. So sick. I have the, I have the Stanley clip on my computer. Do you? Yo, like straight up, like, work the whole room, debunked every possible, like, this is cool. In the chords, and you can hear. Oh, that's Oh, yo, it was the scariest five minutes of my life. God damn. Just talk to just. Talk to the class. class. Bye, I love you. I'll be okay. Here I go. Crush it. Crush it, bitches. Super chill, dude. Anna's down Wait, there. Wait, Anna's down there? Yeah, just she'll take care of you. We're untouchable. We're untouchable, bro. Um, <laughs> Pick a lane, any lane. I think she's going to last about two minutes. That's it? I'll give her five. I'll give her six. Six minutes? Whoa. Was that what you said? See, now I feel bad. All right, three, three minutes. I'll go six minutes, 11 seconds. Price is the right rules. If you're over, you're out. You sure you don't want to come with me? 
<laughs> oh, he can't see, bro. I know, it's just supposed to be pitch black. Yeah, but these are stairs. That's not hey, you have to you Go to the basement. Go to the basement and record. You could use the light on the camera. There is no light on the camera, you <laughs> head. Touch the screen, touch the screen. Come on. What the... do you mean, touch the screen? You literally touch the screen. Touch the back and you can use that as a light. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> go down there. I don't know. There's so many turns. <laughs> Brother, brother! You oh. good, ready? Are you filming? Yeah. Brother, don't f leave me, please. I'm scared. Wait, you're not doing it alone? Uh, I bailed. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, just walk around. Dear, yeah. I'm scared. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> please, I'm scared. Just one of you. All right, all right, all right. Wait, 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 Megan, Megan, Megan. She was the one Megan. that wanted to experience. The tables have turned. I do ball kicked it down there. So I, I would love to take this moment right now and have the editor cut to four hours ago where you were so excited. Okay, to I'm so excited. Dude, on our way here, you're like, I want to be bitten. I want, I want to I want... be bitten. I want to be thrown. I want to see some no, stuff. No, no. Leave me alone. Wait, why I, I, what, what just happened? Why is it why is it this trip? What just so, happened? I just got spoiled. Uh, nothing. I'm genuinely scared of the dark. I didn't tell you scared this. Scared of the dark. It's just such bigness. Go to the go. I think they wanted to hang with you. Look, come to the come to the walk. Come to the head of the class. You're lying. You're fine. We're gonna walk away now. Don't go see my Matt. <laughs> Who is that? It's oh. <laughs> oh my god. He just snapped it. He just snapped it. When she's done that, we should probably. Leave. So how, how long is she gonna last? I mean, it's been about 30 seconds now, and I think she's gonna last a solid three minutes. Is anybody down here? Hello? Does she have a one? Yeah. You can always find out. You can, you can linger over there. No. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> no. no, no, no. Anything is camera guys. Okay. 
So just slowly so dropping. This is where they Pulling. Yeah, see. slowly dropping the light as we've been going on, but yeah. Cool, we can all go to that room and uh, switch cameras over. This hallway is terrifying. Yeah, you know? There's gotta be some right? <laughs> there has to be something in Well, there. that's where... She died? Allegedly, yes. It's freezing. <sighs> yeah, she's dead in here. <laughs> Anna. Oh Anna, God. Anna. Is Anna, the kitchen is the kitchen on your left and the pool's on your right? Yeah. Yeah, that's this is where it happened. Oh me. Yeah. And you're all going Anna, we hear a Anna. It's a bubbles. Yeah, it's a bubbles. It's a voice. Anna. Oh. <laughs> Bat? Was bat that a bat? Flew right by your Was it a bat? Bat, 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 bat. <laughs> Anna, are you here still? Yeah, your head. In your head. Mm -hmm. Are we speaking with a male or female? This evening. This evening. Is, is the man still here? That we first met? Job market. Job market. <laughs> Do you want to play? No. Yes? <laughs> oh, f you! Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Not the reaction. <laughs> Do you want to play with us? Yes, let's play. Walk through here. Again. Are you over here? Yes. Are there evil spirits here? Oxygen. A lot of the children here were tortured. Were you one of the tortured children? Or did you witness it? I do. Larry here? Return. Do you want us to leave? Say yes? Yeah. <laughs> but why? We can be friends. Don't you want to be our friend? Oh. Can you touch Do you want them? friends? Do you want friends? Yeah, you want friends. We'll be your friends. Can you touch the bear if you want us to leave? <laughs> cat ball, cat ball, to your right. To your right, cat ball. Right there, it's going off in the window. Was that you, home dog? No, no I did no, not I touch that. Do you didn't still. Even see it. I want to throw up. Look, the, it's right pointing the right to the cat ball. Dude, that is exactly where you catch the kiwi sauce on the two. Right? Yeah. Are you playing with the cat ball? Yup. Super chills. Super chills. Do you guys get to play outside? Very detailed. It just looks. Very detailed. It just looks. Anything. I just want to feel something. <laughs> if you want, you can go down the hallway and challenge. Why do you push me? Yeah, huh? we should challenge, right? Sorry, that was me. That's me. I mean, if that's what you want to do, oh. that is the known story here. What? Is that if you challenge the the guy who protects the basement, he will not take too kindly to it. Like tour guides won't do it. All the people that work here, like, say, hey, thanks for letting me be down here. I'm leaving. Like they asked for permission to enter the basement. So. Ooh, would have been nice to know that. Are we welcome here? Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you think that we're the ghosts? But what you can. But why you? Are you able to see and hear us? 
Why me? Are you stuck here? Are you trapped? I'm telling you, man. I'll give you this. No, there this is a bad idea. No, it's not. You, this is... Look. It's still going off. It just this one just went off. It won't start. Look, look at the thing back there. Yep. Bro, this is a horrendous idea. All right, so I'll go back to the back of the hallway then. Oh, that light turned on, by the way. Yeah, I saw that. Look at that one going out. What is this light? This flashlight. Yeah, what does that mean? It's a mag light one. There's a mean man here. Help you. Help you. Think it's the audience. Think it's the audience. Do you know that you're dead? Do you not want to talk to us? Grown up? Grown up. They don't want to talk to us because we're grown up. But you won't get in trouble with us. Oh. Hey, come over here! No. Come on, kiss me. <laughs> oh. Okay. Flashlight's on. Come here, come touch me. No. Ooh, all the last cap ball finally turned off. Oh, it's getting cold around me. You, Come is, here! I don't like this at all. This I challenge you. Should I go in there? No. Yeah. No. I don't know what to do. You have a family. He, he might be hard of hearing. He's old. I challenge you! I meant this to say to the closer. You sound like you're auditioning for the worst rom-com <laughs> I have ever heard. I, I challenge you, for reals, I challenge you. Pull my feet. Pull my finger. Pull my finger. <laughs> oh, dude. Come on, tough guy. No, 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 no. It's 3 a.m. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come here. There no. you go. Come no. here. I challenge you. I'm going. I think it's a double challenge. I think they're, they're screaming challenge yeah, you to like, you. Yeah, they're like, come here. That is, that, that, that's where I'm at. I can't, I can't, I don't want to do that. You can talk around us. We're weird, bro. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, don't worry, we won't tell. Yeah. When you... When you what? Do you normally get in trouble for talking? The voice? Yeah, you can talk. The voice? The voice. Right now. The voice right now. So, yeah. she said... Turn off the light if you want me to go in there. Get in there. There you go. Lights back on. Get your ankles in there. This is a horrendous idea, dude. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. We're good. That Anything? Was, that was pretty <laughs> Really, was it? Yeah. I feel like that was so weird. No, dude, he started saying like full sentences yeah. at the end. The more I looked over here, the more clear things were. Like the more I turned, like over here, there was like nothing. And then the more I just kept turning my head and the more I turned over here, the more I feel like really? the connection was stronger over here. And are you in here with me? Well, light just turned on precisely as you asked. Anna's with me. We're okay now. Okay. Anna, do you like my brother? <laughs> do you like Ryan? You think he's a cutie? Who am I challenging? The guard? Unknown, but he guards the basement. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Finally goes off again. I challenge you, guard. No, I don't. I don't. Then get out. No way. Are you recording? Are you? You know what she said earlier. What? There's, there's no. 
that this clock can't do this. She told us a story how this clock went off one day and they were freaking out because it's impossible. That clock is actually something that my husband and I donated to the castle. It belonged to his grandparents. Really? And what's, an, what's what, to his parents actually. But what's interesting about that clock, it hasn't been wound probably in the last year or so. Mm -hmm. And our um, administrative assistant who works here several hours a day, the other day uh, texted us and said, the clock in the dining room just chimed. No way. And it was like, it's not wound. As we walked in here. As you cross this path. Oh yeah, look. Another little hole. Oh. Uh, oh, Corey? Yeah. What what always happens? Camera's off. And it started when the camera was off. Was it? Yeah, I just wasn't recording because we were walking down here and it, luckily the camera was on and I missed the first ding, but then hit record and got the second one. Oh. I challenge whoever's down here. I challenge whoever's down here to come and touch my feet. Touch my ankles. Touch any part of me. Megan believes that you literally have no ability to cause any harm or even show your presence. Prove her otherwise. I challenge whoever's down here. I challenge whoever's down here to come touch my feet. Touch my ankle. Touch any part of me. I know what I heard, but... What did you hear? Is anyone down here? any part of me. He's laughing at me. The laughing, laughing, laughing is crazy. Yes, sir. I challenge you. Should I do it again? Wait, hold on. That first one, though. Listen back, yeah. and on that first one, just listen for it. You're gonna die. I know. I don't want to say it. Okay, you heard it too, right? Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Wait, no, no, no. I don't want to die. You keep on your challenge. Well, I didn't think death was a part of it. I challenge you. I challenge you. It's three o'clock in the morning. I said go my ankles. I didn't say kill me. You said touch whatever part of my body. You're out of your goddamn mind. Seriously, listen. I didn't want to say it, and then he said it. Shut up. I looked at you and I was like, I know we heard the same thing. No, we didn't. Hold behind me, bro. I don't want any part. Hold me. I said tickle my Shut It's Did probably it? dead. No. Listen to it. We're gonna hear you're gonna die. I challenge whoever's down here. I challenge whoever's down here to come touch my feet. Touch my ankle. Touch any part of me. You're going to die. I'm gonna give a laugh for that. All I was saying was touch my <laughs> ankle, guys. You're an imbecile. You don't three, have to kill. three in the morning and a hundred year old. The laugh. The laugh. The laugh. You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your mind. Please, Chad. I made him laugh. Can we, rec can we record more? Yeah, yeah. let's do more. Right. Patty needs to like bless you before we leave. Hold it as still as you can. Yep. Patty said Nobody moves. Yeah, Patty's not. She does. Recording clip 10. I don't know. Tell him if you can't, he'll kill you. <laughs> he can't kill me, guy. Is that, is that a challenge? It sounds like you're saying like you can't kill me. No, I'm just don't, don't, don't leave.
I'm just giving you clarity. So stop moving. Sorry. It's a standstill. Sorry. Touch my body. Hey, you're down here. You just said you're gonna die and you're like, come on. Touch my body. Touch, touch, touch my body. Not even ankles anymore. Touch my body. I challenge you to touch my body. That's not the challenge. Hold <laughs> on, oh, You can't kill my sister. <laughs> You can't kill my sister. You're just a ghost. Sounds like a challenge. Would you get that? I won't let you kill me. Maybe you won the challenge. So, bro, in order to listen back, you can't fast forward on this. Yeah. It sounded like you said, I won't let you kill Megan, or I won't let you kill my sister. I don't know which one you said. And then I heard, I want Megan. Bro, I, you, yeah. we have to go all the way back through. Right. But there's no way any of you would have said, I, I want Megan. Fuck, bro. I think it, I only said Megan once. I think, well, yeah, I think it was after you said, you can't kill Megan. Yeah, right. and then I heard, I want Megan. Which, if that is like, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> I won't let you kill this man. Yeah. You can go upstairs and rejoin the rest if you want. Yes, please. Cool. I'm done with the basement. Sure. You're crazy. Oh, I think I have to walk down in that room. Okay, uh, I'll grab her. I guess we can check on this one. Yeah. Megan? Yeah. We're in here. I may have cursed myself. Oh. What happened? I challenged the ghost. Oh, and he yeah. said he wanted to kill me. Okay, we won't let anybody kill you. And then he laughed at me about Absolutely it. Absolutely absurd. Wait, they totally challenged him, so I fucking challenged him. And he was like, you're gonna die. And I was Bro. like, uh-oh. Bro, that was a Yeah. Wait, you Freeze actually, game. what is it, the EVP? You yeah. don't told me to do it. No, 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 no one told you to do it. Yes, you he did. It. It's on camera. You kept saying okay. I'm going to challenge. Well, I said, said challenge me, touch my body. The dude go. And he said, you're going to die. Yeah. And then he laughed like, And he was like, uh, what? Yeah. The whole thing. The EVP? Get up, heard it yes. Is there everybody's here? Squish in, squish in, squish in, squish in, squish in. <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> I'm awake, dude. You freaked me out down there. <laughs> <All right. laughs> one. Everybody, again, make sure your feet are flat on the ground. The soles and the balls of your feet are the heels are flat. Count palms open. Just palms open. Take another deep breath in. And shoot everything down through your feet. While we're here, we do want to thank the spirits that are here, all the good spirits. Again, we banish any negative ones. If anybody's here and they want to make any last messages to us, or like we do with the seances, if anybody wants to whisper, yeah, any last words. You want to whisper to anybody, you want to, if they're comfortable with it, touch anybody, now is the time. And other than that, we're going to have you slowly step back into the darkness. Slowly step back. We want to thank the spirits. We want to thank all the elements, the earth for keeping us safe, the sweet waters, the emotions for us to be able to communicate with them, the fires for keeping that passion going, and the air for us to understand, and all these beautiful equipments that are working. We want to thank you. We thank you. As the veil slowly closes between the worlds, and we shut the veil. Alright, so everybody get mundane, like wiggle.
It's all good. And now we should get ready. Yeah, Monday. You know, there might be residual. Things might go off a little, but they're done. We shut them down. Yeah. So great. Yeah. It's all good. They're how was your, awesome. your first uh, ghost hunting experience? It was awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting us all come very, here. Very, very cool. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Yeah, so you guys are the best. That was really, like, pretty insane. I didn't expect much, and then, like, a bunch of stuff happened. So I was like, well, you didn't Simon. expect. Who's <laughs> been playing with us? Well, thank you all. Thanks for joining and, and trusting us. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining, yeah, too, thanks. out there, you know? Thanks, Simon. Appreciate it.